Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96. She passed away on Thursday in Balmoral, Scotland, one of her favorite places in the world. She was surrounded by friends and family, and she's succeeded now by her eldest son, Prince Charles, who is now King Charles III. I'm Variety's Minori Ravindran. And I'm Angelique Jackson. We are reporting from Canada, where Variety is at the Toronto International Film Festival, where Canadian locals and entertainment lovers alike are mourning the loss of Queen Elizabeth II. Minori, what are you hearing about the film festival's plans to honor her? The passing of Queen Elizabeth on the very first day of TIFF, which is back in full force after three years, is, is uh, astounding. Um, Queen Elizabeth is, of course, the, the head of state for Canada. She's the leader of the Commonwealth and, and indeed Canada is um, one of the Commonwealth nations. And so for this to happen on the first day of TIFF is really going to cast a little bit of a shadow over the festival. The Queen is beloved in Canada. Canadians generally have always had a very strong connection with the British monarchy. TIFF is, is uh, almost certainly going to, um, you know, commemorate uh, her, her passing in, in some way. It'll, it'll be a subject of conversation among uh, some of the stars here, Olivia Coleman, Daniel Radcliffe, um, and it's certainly going to be um, a huge topic of conversation over the, the next, you know, 10 or so days. We're already seeing the flag here at half mass. We're seeing flowers and other smaller tributes popping up to the queen. What kind of reaction have you seen from the entertainment community as we're starting to see statements and remembrances pop up online? The queen has always had a very strong uh, connection to the the world of entertainment in Hollywood. I mean, everyone remembers the opening ceremony of the London Olympics in 2012, in which the Queen got together with James Bond, Daniel Craig, and they performed that amazing skit. You know, no one expected her to do that, and she didn't have to do it, but she, she of course, was, was an amazing sport. And, of course, she's, she's just had a wonderful relationship with Hollywood over the years, and we've seen immediately that outpouring of grief among, among actors like Helen Mirren and certainly Daniel Craig, who, you know, immediately had, had uh, statements that they shared. Um, she's simply a beloved figure. She has been played by all sorts of actors, Helen, and, of course, all the actors of The, the Crown, Claire Foy, Olivia Coleman, Imelda Staunton, um, elsewhere, Nev, Nev Campbell has played her. Sarah Gadon has played her. Um, she is kind of an icon, I think, for Hollywood. And certainly this will, will absolutely, um, this will absolutely change the landscape. Well, let's talk about the crown for a second, because Variety recently reported that the final seasons were well kind of into casting and starting to get into production. What is going to happen with this beloved and much acclaimed Netflix series now that the queen has passed? Sources close to the production are telling us that uh, indeed the the show will actually have a little bit of a of a hiatus while um, the country the UK is in mourning. Um, we don't know exactly how long that hiatus will be, but certainly they will halt production on the the latest se the season in order to pay their respects. The royal family has had a re tense relationship with the crown because of you know all the the depictions of of all of the the drama within the royal family over the years. But certainly, what we're seeing is that creator Peter Morgan has uh, you know the, the deepest respect ultimately for the royal family. They've always maintained that if the monarch did indeed die while the show was in production, that they would take a little bit of a break. And certainly that's what we're seeing now. In the days and weeks ahead, you're expecting to hear more reaction from Hollywood and the world beyond regarding the Queen's passing. Stay tuned to Variety.com for the latest.